Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and today we have a returning special guest to talk to us a little bit about how to use A plus and enhanced brand content for your listings and why it's so, so important to do so. But first, I wanted to make sure that you guys knew we have a Facebook group that you can come into and answer questions. It has been open since 2014. So we have had a lot of people in there, but you can't just join it out of the blue. You have to have a code word in order to get in because we don't like like spammers. We don't like people coming in there and trying to sell you all the stuff and market things to you and things like that. So you have to have a code word to get in mommyincome.com forward slash join us. You need the code word create today. So make sure you have the code word create today as part of joining the Facebook group. This is where good, awesome, amazing sellers from beginners to advanced come in and ask questions and get answers to their wholesale bundle questions, arbitrage questions, uh, things like how do you use enhanced brand content, all these different things. So mommyincome.com forward slash join us in the Facebook group. Your code word is create. We'd love to have you a part of that. And I would want to see you in the Facebook group. So again, let's talk today with Ian Bauer. He is the owner and creator of Graphic Rhythm. It's a leading design agency for Amazon sellers. And they help digital marketers and small businesses create their visual identity and everyday graphic design challenges. And they have optimized thousands of Amazon listings, including my own. And I had a chance to work with Ian and his team at Graphic Rhythm, and I am super impressed with the quality and the visual improvements of the graphics I received. Honestly, before I had my enhanced brand content, my A-plus content that they created, now this was rewind a whole year and a half at this point. Um, I didn't, I hardly had any sales. I was really trying to get this private label product off the ground and I hired them to help with my brand enhanced content and they created all the modules and all this stuff and it was starting to sell consistently the moment I started uploading these things. It shows brand awareness, high quality attention to detail, the, the, the pictures, the images, the graphics, the infographics, they all look professional. They show the product in use, clear, concise information. And it's awesome and amazing, but to be honest, it was super pricey and not every product and not everything can, you can afford, you know, hundreds of dollars to be able to pay for graphic design services, which y'all, I am not a designer. So that's part of the struggle, but then they came up with a better solution, an easier, less expensive way to get the same quality graphics, except for um, doing it yourself. And so I tried that and it's so amazing. And I can't wait to talk to um, Ian again. And I can't wait for you to hear this conversation. So let's welcome Ian back to the show. Ian, welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for coming back. Hey, thanks for having me. I love being here. Yeah. So you guys, if you guys hadn't listened to it before, it's about a year ago or so, episode 197, you can get to know Ian a little bit more there as well. But let's just kind of um, jump back into it. Remind us again, what did you do in your previous life before this design agency called Graphic Rhythm? Well, so I have two previous lives. I, I'm, I'm like a cat. I just keep adding them. Um, so directly before the design agency, I was an Amazon seller. I still am an Amazon seller. And so, uh, you know, that's, that was like my first business is selling on Amazon wholesale, primarily a little bit of brand management, a little bit of private label. Um, but then before that, I was actually a chef. That was like my career, my, my vocation. That's what I was trained for. So I was a chef at a university. So 2017, I quit my job as a chef started doing Amazon full time. I had already built that golden parachute for myself. So when I quit, the business was already rip roaring and ready to go and support me. And then out of that um, FBA business really grew the design agency because I saw a need to, uh, you know, help my fellow sellers by getting great conversion optimized imagery for their listings and their products. Now, have you always been like had that kind of design eye? Because in my mind, I'm thinking, chef, Amazon seller, graphic design. How does this all go together? Yeah. Well, so no, actually I'm a, I'm a terrible designer. Um, and I wish, I always wish that I had saved like the early versions of our website and our logo and stuff like that. Cause I did them myself and they're terrible. Um, and actually what, like our first creative director that we ever hired at graphic rhythm, I'll never forget. He took me aside, like, like privately, he's like, Hey man, 
can I just like redo all of the designs for <laughs> like, can I redo the logo? And, you know, like he didn't want to offend me, you know, it's a funny story. And I was like, yeah, sure. Take it over. Um, but w- where I've always really excelled is communication. And the this is not a design agency that was like, I'm a graphic designer. I'm going to go do designs for clients. It was actually more like I'm a design client and I'm frustrated with the way that I've interacted with agencies and designers. And I think that we could do better. And so I'm a communications guy. And so I I felt like I had a lot to add to communications, like just working with a designer and doing better with that. And so that's really where it came from is the, is my knack for communicating. You know, what's so funny is that although I did not know that about you, and I'm so glad that that came out right now, um, seeing what you guys do at Graphic Rhythm, and then this amazing thing about creatives that we're going to talk about today too, it, it actually shows all of that. And I'm very impressed that that you're more of the customer side rather than the designer side, because that's like the rest of us, right? I am not a designer at all. Hence the reason I come to places like Graphic Rhythm, because I do not do design. And it's funny also that you say that about the whole website design thing like that too because I had someone tell me before this could use a few updates and improvements on your design it's because I'm like I'm not good at that stuff I can just I can make it happen but it's not usually a successful uh, transaction for me to design stuff so that's really cool because you really understand from a customer perspective what we need and throughout your uh, I know that I was able to get before creatives I was able to get my brand enhanced content from from you guys and uh, the communication there was top notch as far as the questions you guys asked and then the deliverables were right on that so that really really shines through. So you saw the hole in the marketplace for the customers um, coming in saying, I need these graphic designs and I need these things for my private label or whatever else. Now, um, it was just telling a story about enhanced brand content and services and how you guys did mine. And I'm one of the thousands you guys have optimized. And it really, really improved the, the conversion rate actually by like almost a hundred percent because before we didn't have a whole lot of sales at all. And the moment we uploaded our enhanced brand content within a week, people were buying and then more people were buying. And then we added video and we saw another 20% increase. So these numbers are, they're not just, you know, out there. These are my numbers, my own personal case study, if you will, um, about how this has improved my own listings. So um, let's talk a little bit more about the the graphics and the, the ideas before we get into the nitty gritty of you showing us this amazing new tool that I love is um, like the, the idea behind the psychology of the imagery and why this is so important. Why should people even care about adding infographics or extra imagery to their listings? Well, so... You know, first of all, that's awesome that, that the conversions improved on your listing. That's great. That's what we like to hear. And the imagery is is all about conversions. You know, so you, you do a lot of work as an Amazon seller just trying to get people to look at your listing, right? Running ads, optimizing titles, main images. Um, that's all part of that, you know, that effort to drive traffic to your listing. But then the they show up at your listing, right? So you've convinced them, yay, I'm going to go check this product out. And Now's your opportunity to sell. You haven't won yet. They just clicked. You know, you got to get them to buy it. And so that's where the imagery really is shines, right? It's, its purpose is to bring them from consideration to buying. Um, and you do that through a series of images. And a lot of sellers uh, content themselves with doing the bare minimum. So that's like photography, you know, showing, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on products. And I've talked to like, or photography rather, I've talked to some like really seasoned Amazon sellers who don't really think about the difference between photography and imagery, right? We all do, we do imagery at at graphic rhythm, you know, and we take, and photography is a component of that. And so when you're, if you're just focusing on, do my photos look good or am I complying with Amazon's policies, which is like, you know, showing off an ingredient label or anything like that, then you're missing an opportunity to sell to your customers. So, you know, customers show up on your listing and they've got basically four things that we want to look at and communicate. The first is what do people love? Uh, so you want to communicate what do people love about this product and make sure that you're highlighting that those things are showing uh, for your product. What do people hate, particularly about your competitor's listing? And you want to downplay those or, or you know, give them confidence that it's not there. 
what do people expect? Now, this is a really important one that also gets missed. So you, you show up with a set of expectations when you're a shopper, right? You know, let's say diaper bag, you've got like a shopping list of features that you're looking for when you show up on that listing. Like, does it have the wipes holder? Uh, does it have the bottle thermal pocket? You know, like all that stuff. Is so, it washable? Is it waterproof? Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like you've got your list of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, you want to make sure you address the expectations. And then uh, the last thing is, what are people confused about? So um, you looked at, you do that, uh, answer that by looking at the question and answer section of the listing and saying to yourself, okay, what are people asking about all the time? What's missing? What, what aren't they getting? What's preventing them from buying? So when you answer all those questions, then ideally you produce a set of images that are going to overcome objections. So that's, that's the aim. That's the psychology behind optimizing your at least gallery images and a plus content is is a slightly separate thing it's yeah it's slightly separate but it still covers all of the things that you're saying in in detail and in imagery and i you know i can't we all shop with our eyes first especially on amazon you're not window shopping necessarily you are usually people come to amazon and they're not just randomly scrolling the home page they type something in that they're looking for specifically and then they go through the what i call window shopping or scrolling um, to see which one visually catches them first so if you're typing in you know like you said diaper bag and i'm looking for a you know pink diaper bag. So I type that in and then I start, all the options come up and now I get to shop with my eyes. And most of the time we do, right? We shop with our eyes rather than all the words and titles. We're like, oh, that one looks cool. Let me check that out. So that's like, again, like bringing them into the store and then you have to actually let them walk out with a product, which is what this is. Now I looked at some statistics. I love stats. I'm kind of a data nerd when it comes to that. And like the psychology behind imagery, it, it creates reliability and trust. If you're telling somebody, this is why you should buy my product and buy this and all that. But it also, there's, why should people care about visual content and marketing? And, and for those who think I'm just an Amazon seller and I don't do any marketing outside of Amazon, your listing is your ad. Your listing is your marketing. Am I right? I mean, that's like the only thing you have to be able to sell product to the people. Right. Yeah, exactly. And you brought up a great point which is uh, this idea of confidence in the, in the purchase. You know, Amazon sellers or Amazon buyers are, are sophisticated these days. This isn't 2015, this isn't 2013. They understand what they're looking at. They understand that there are some, I'm gonna air quote here, fly by night kind of sellers, you know, and, and they've got a level of sophistication and they need to know that you're a real company. They need to know that your brand is a real brand. They need to know that, the, the product is backed up, you know, and so listings that look bad or look off or look even inconsistent kind of set up red flags when you're, when you're a shopper, you know, and you start to wonder what kind of experience you're going to have as a buyer. And so keeping your designs consistent is a big part of uh, increasing customer confidence. Absolutely. And another thing I will say is like some of the t statistics there is that like visuals and infographics, literally just infographics with minimal text and a lot more visual imagery have a view rate of 94% or more. Double what everyone else is really doing. If you have more of a a visual graphic versus a paragraph of text, 94% more people will look at the graphic before a paragraph of text. So that's just a statistic in general marketing, not even to translate to Amazon, but to translate it to Amazon, 85% more people are likely to buy your product after they watch a video about it. So that's also something, but if you don't have video involved in that, I'm not, not every product needs a video. Let's just be real. Like if you're selling, you know, paper towels, do we really need a roll about paper towels? I don't know. I mean, Bounty does pretty well with their <laughs> commercials and things, but at the same time with Amazon, you're selling something like that. That's not as, as sexy, but if you're talking about something you need to demonstrate video and, and visual graphics are just, we're all, I think, I think the, I'm not going to quote the statistic number exactly. Cause I don't memorize it, but like more people 
people are visual than they are audible learners or hands-on learners. I mean, we all are learning visually. And so if we're learning about a product, it builds that trust that, hey, if this looks professional, if it feels professional based on the imagery, based on the descriptions, things like that, I'm more likely to be confident in buying a great product when the listing itself has a level of profession professionalism to it rather than just someone took a couple shoddy pictures of this and slapped up some bullet points and like, where's the trust factor in that? Right. And, you know, the Amazon is becoming such a visual platform. Um, we're, we're lucky at Graphic Rhythm. Um, we were, we're, we're Amazon partner, we're Amazon certified. And uh, Amazon actually just started a program like an Amazon creative services marketplace. Uh, and we're one of the first people in the door on that. And so we actually get to work pretty closely with their ads team. And we get to work with, um, you know, just see the stuff that they've got coming up. And they are really, really focused on visual content. You know, Amazon Post is a great example. They really, really want brands to use storefronts. They really want brands to use A-plus content. Um, the, the video is a big thing. Adding videos to advertisements is, uh, you could do that now, but we're, they're allowing it to happen for, I think, sponsored content. So, you know, it's a visual platform. The whole internet is going visual and you could see that with you know social media networks like TikTok taking off like crazy and instagram taking off like crazy and so you know it's not enough anymore to just have your titles and bullets and description you have to be visually communicating you have to really be taking advantage of these different content uh, uh you know slots and media opportunities that amazon is providing so that you are the most relevant you know as far as a customer is concerned now, I told, I love that. I totally agree with that, but I do have, and this could be a, I'm not so sure we don't have the answers. Maybe this is a little bit of a rhetorical and we think about it and come back to a different episode. My question too, with the visualization is with that, how do you pair that with searchability? Because we can search with text, but then we have to capture and convert with imagery. And I don't know how, how, as we're moving into a more of a visual platform and less text is available, how do we still draw in the algorithm with just words? Because we need to first have words and then have imagery. Well, actually all of the content that Amazon, I'm trying to think if there's an exception, but certainly most of the, the content that you can upload, like A plus content for sure, videos for sure, and Amazon posts for sure, they have alt text. Uh, fields. So that's where you put keywords related to your product. And so um, that's primarily to help with um, accessibility. So if someone's reading the web page, they could get here an alt description of it. Um, but I would be shocked if Amazon isn't actively including that stuff in search results or isn't going to eventually do that. Yeah, I've actually heard of some competitors putting um, a competitor competitor brand names into their alt text, and, and including into their imagery, like naming your images. I mean, I've actually even included that in my new course about, you know, naming your images is also important because they are searchable, um, at least to Google. And Amazon is kind of using that as well, maybe indirectly. But if you go to Google and you search uh, pink diaper bag and your image is named pink diaper bag, that will come up in a Google image search. It will come up in a regular search. So um, using those keywords, but then the imagery combined is, is just a, you're doubling your efforts and doubling your chances of conversion uh, when you do that. So tell us now about, I know I, I right before, like in, during our intro, and I was saying about the story I had about working with you guys and paying um, the done for you service because that's what I need as a as a design dummy. I need to um, hire that stuff out and how I impressed I was with all of the communication levels and the questions and then the the deliverables were fantastic. But let's be real, that's not in everybody's budget. Five to seven hundred dollars for A plus content or this or that or whatever is a little bit pricey for maybe some people just starting out or they have a little bit more time than they have money. Um, and so and you guys solved that problem yet again for graphic dummies like myself to where we also maybe not have the budget that we want to have. So tell us about creatives and how it came about and why it came about. Yeah. So, I mean, you heard the story about how graphic rhythm started and it, we've always had this client first approach where, you know, I've always imagined like, what do I need or what would be the, just the right thing to solve my problem right now? Um, and, you know, one of the things that 
I use pretty frequently uh, is tools like Canva. And, and now that might sound absolutely crazy because I own an uh, entire graphic design agency. But even as a graphic design agency owner, I have to like put in a work order, you know, and wait for somebody to do it, you know, and sometimes I just need it quick. And so, um, you know, I like tools like Canva. And, uh, but one of the things that I've, uh, that was always challenging for me is first of all, there's absolutely nothing on there for Amazon sellers. But second of all, if you find a design you really like, like a template that you really like, and you want to work with, because remember, I'm not a designer, right? So I'm not starting from scratch on any of this stuff. So if I find a design I really like, there's not another one. There's not a second template just like that, right? And nevertheless, there's not a third, there's not a fourth, there's not a matching, you know, creative of a different type, you know? And so I, I started to really think about that. And a service that does that really well is Creative Marketplace. And there you could go and you could buy, you know, spend hundreds of dollars on all different templates and they'll match and be quarter and they'll be beautiful, you know, but now you're spending hundreds of dollars, right? And so I thought to myself, like, what if there was something like Canva where the designs were all coordinated, where you could just go in, pick a template and know that there are other templates. So if I decide like, this is the perfect thing for my brand and my product and it's gallery images and there's 10 of them and I could just customize them however I want. And now it's done but now I need a plus content, right? And now there's a, t you could be confident that there's a template for that or a business card or an Amazon post or a case study or anything like that, right? So that's what Creatives is. So Creatives is a platform uh, similar to Canva, okay? Where you, it's, it's easy to use, it's easy for you to work on, um, but, but what it is ultimately is sets of design templates, right? And so you, you go in there and you could find design templates that are coordinated, that are beautiful, that are optimized by our team. Um, and the big idea here is that it's a way for uh, any business owner really, but we're focusing on Amazon sellers initially to be able to quickly and affordably create sets of imagery that looks great, matches their brand and is coordinated. That is so, and of course I've seen it already. So you guys, I have an advantage here. I've seen it and used it already because I created my first one in less than five minutes, you guys. And you guys know I've been a self-proclaimed tech idiot. Um, that's the nicer word for it. Um, it takes me a long time to learn a lot of programs and all that kind of stuff. It's just not my wheelhouse. And so um, to be able to jump into creatives and be able to say, oh, these are my brand colors and this is what I like. And then doing like four, I think four clicks and like putting this picture and putting this in like, oh, I have 10 new pictures for my one listing. And literally it was about five minutes because of the way that you guys set it up. So um, for our podcast listeners at this point, you're going to have to just go over to YouTube and watch this next part because Ian's going to show us a little behind the scenes curtain a demo, demo of how creatives works and you guys are going to see how easy this is. So for our listeners, if you're walking your dog, I guess just roll your eyes and listen to us because you're not going to be able to see, but our YouTube friends here will be able to see this video. And if you want to watch it later, um, it of course is going to be on the YouTube channel. So um, let's peek into creatives and you can walk us it through how it works and how really simple it can be. Sure. Yeah. And we'll do our best to describe what's happening here. We'll, we'll do our best as a, like a sports announcers. <laughs> okay. So what we're looking at here is the dashboard and this is in one of our test accounts. And so uh, I'm just going to go create from template here, really simple, e easy to use interface. And you could see all of the templates here. So we're looking at, you know, probably a, a few dozen different templates and I'm going to select gallery images. And you could see um, that each of these thumbnails, right? But but what, what isn't immediately obvious is when I click on this, as you'll see, there's at least 10 uh, images behind it, okay? So I'm gonna use this, uh, this one here called Organic Fitness. And the way that we kind of think about these templates is we give the design team uh, kind of like a mood and a purpose, you know? So this one is meant to be, you know, uh, supplement, it, 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 the product doesn't matter. You could do this with yoga mats or whatever, but what we're looking at is like a flowery, organic looking kind of a, a template. Yeah. So, so, so when you're initially picking your designs, you're thinking what coordinates well with my brand, the feeling, the imagery, this is an organic fitness supplement product. So we're looking at the, the bright greens and the, the feeling, the, the emotions behind, like what, what does my product portray and what, what do we need to see, um, 
in the visuals and images that would match that. So picking templates that kind of fit the type of products that you have. Yeah, exactly. So like, you know, this has very organic shapes and soft lines and curves and stuff like that. Whereas some of our stuff that's called like extreme fitness would be like hard slashes and hard edges and, you know, real rough and yeah. And darker you know, colors, black and white and red and like those intensity kind of CrossFit sort of feel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. So if you look here, we've set you up already with uh, different layouts. So here's like a call out. Here's what we call like a badges and certifications type of infographic nutrition label. Uh, you can see different titles and paragraphs. And so the template is really cool um, already and it's already optimized. And, you know, the, our, the hardest part about design is laying things out appropriately, right? That is by far the hardest bit. It's what we work really hard on making sure designers that come into our company understand and so that part has been done for you, understanding how a visual hierarchy works. So, so it's laid out for you already. Now all you have to really do is add your content. So um, let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna for purposes of, the, of this demonstration, I think I'm just gonna do myself a favor and pick a, one of the more easy ones here to, um, with less text basically to fill in. But basically uh, what we could do here is I'm gonna grab, I'm selecting every single element on this page, right? Every single one of them is selected and I'm gonna start changing the colors. So I'm gonna use, yeah, we we'll use focus. So I'm just gonna change that to orange and uh, go back. I'm just, I'm just changing up these colors and we could see them starting to change inside the template themselves. This is like real quick. Just like that, I've changed every single color on here. That was easy. Yeah, literally a couple of seconds and we changed everything from green to orange. And so it has a kind of a different feel, a different visual um, you know, feeling when you change the color just like that. So that could just be you know, changing the products. Okay, so what's next? So um, the next thing here is I'm gonna replace the product photo. So I'm gonna take that out and then I'm gonna go to images and I'm gonna go to this uh, photo I have uploaded here. So that's loading up and just like that, I've dropped my transparent background product photo in the spot where the other one was done. And then uh, I'm gonna replace this image with my logo. So we had like a logo placeholder here that's been replaced, done. Uh, then the next thing that I want to do references with that little box there. If anybody's familiar with Canva or any other sort of design, the buttons are very, very similar. Um, adjusting the size and picking that and clicking on specific sections is all actually, I think is even a better ease of use for this particular one, even than sometimes with Canva, it can get like crazy. So, um, right. really awesome there. Yeah. And so then the last thing here is, uh, I want to pick a photo, uh, I want to replace this photo. So this is already integrated with Unsplash and Pexels, which are two commercial free, um, you know, uh, free stock image websites. So it's already integrated with those. And so all you have to do is click replace image. Uh, let's do Pexels. And I guess I want to look for like a businesswoman to go in here because this is this product I'm, I'm working on. Yeah, she seems just the right amount of <laughs> cocky right slash confident. Right there yep, like, yes. that's just what I need. So this product, this fake product is like a, um, a, a coffee, we call it coffee for thinkers. All right, so there we go. And then uh, I, changing the text is very simple. I could just say for thinkers, uh, I just changed the headline to say coffee for thinkers. And if I wanted to make that a little smaller, it's easy to do. All of these tools are, are very similar to what you're used to. done and I can, uh, I'm just gonna, I didn't, I didn't prepare any, any text no to go in here. So we're just gonna no, type this some. This is great. I love that this is like raw demo. This is exactly what we need to be able to, um, you know, realize that we're doing this just in a few minutes. It really is just a few minutes of being like, uh, by, by the time we end this short episode, um, we're gonna have, you know, several different pictures or at least one that that's gonna enhance and look professionally created, but for us non-designers. Yeah. So there we go. So now that's done. And if I wanted to, I could delete these little leaves around, or, you know, if for some reason they were in the way, I could shuffle them around. 
you know, so it's very intuitive, very easy to use if I want to move that up there or something. It doesn't need a lot of thought. It doesn't need a lot of consideration. And it's that way for, for all of these. You know, you can put your own icons in here to replace the, the badges and certifications that are preloaded. Um, for like our call outs here, if I wanted to uh, take this and just, uh, I'm gonna put my, put my product back in here. So now I'm looking at a, a one with, with call outs as part of a thing. I'm not gonna show you the color trick again, but you know, we could just, uh, this is supposed to be one of those newfangled uh, coffee with, that have, have mushrooms in them. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we, or oops, lines main mushroom. see oh it's not going to come up all right let's try the I, it's in the other library I, I remember cordyceps oh boy let's try unsplash so we're looking there we go, there you go. <laughs> so we could just add a little ingredient uh like a an ingredient call out I suppose I could have done coffee beans. That would have been easy. <laughs> That's all right. We got to do things the hard way. There's no problem. Yep. You know, so uh, going through there. And so, I mean, that's that's pretty much the whole thing. It's it's that easy is to just go in here, change some colors, swap things around, uh, adjust the text. And, and for, for, for even more of time's sake, I mean, of course we want to be able to customize, but let's be honest, if we, you had an organic, like we're looking at your, you changed this into coffee, but like if I had an organic supplement that I was already selling and I just wanted my brand on it, it would be even faster. I'd pick this wonderfully laid out, uh, similar, um, product template that I'm already using. And I could literally just plop in a couple of things and be done, which is what I did when I tried this on my my own. I was like, okay, if Ian showed me how to do this, I know how to do it. I'm just going to do it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this really is as easy as I thought it was going to be. Um, and I was, and I was hoping it would be, and I used one that was kind of already in my brand colors and ideas that I wanted. And I just changed some images. I'm like in five minutes, I did like three of these. So it's really, it's really super cool. Um, you know, when I, when I say something's easy, I'm, I'm, I'm serious about it because I struggle even with Canva, to be honest. I mean, I see people using Canva and I'm just like, oh my gosh, how do these people know all these tricks? I have to watch like five hours of video to make sure I do that. But with this, it really is as simple as dropping and dragging and uploading. And it's it's just not hard. So I appreciate the demo. Um, what other other little features do you want to show us? Yeah, well, so the the other thing that I wanted to show you here is if I, so we've, we've just made this image. So now it's time to make a plus content. If I go to create from template and I could come down here and I could find that there's a matching a plus content template. So now I could do the whole thing. And, and that's really for me, I could do my whole listing from the gallery images to the a plus content. It's already done for me. Um, and we've got plans to add things like Amazon posts, um, and other creative uh, opportunities on Amazon as well. And so it's just it's just as simple to edit these things. And that's kind of the, to me, that's the big deal. That's the magic about this. This isn't a tool to help you create designs. This is a tool where the designs are already done. <laughs> you yeah. are not designing in this tool. Let us design. You're just swapping out colors and images. You're really just like dropping and dragging and, and customizing what's already designed, which is what I need because I struggle with the design part, but I can look at this and go, I'm a very visual person to where I can't always describe what I need. But if you show me like this, I'd be like, oh, I want that only change this, this, and this. And that's exactly what this, this like do it yourself kind of service does for people like me, people that aren't good at coming up with the designs, but I'm good at seeing what I want and then tweaking it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there, that's, that's really the, the gist of this. You, you can also download. Uh, so obviously the last step of this is to download things. So you would be able to export the images as JPEGs or PNGs or even PDFs, although you wouldn't really need that for Amazon, but those are options are there. Um, now there are some cool functionality. So our our big dream for creatives is to make this more than just for Amazon sellers. You know, we want you we want this to be the last 
thing that you ever need when it comes to design. Uh, we want you to be able to find business presentations in here, case studies, business cards, social media posts, anything that you need designed, we want you to find a coordinated template in here. So, um, you know, so like there, these business presentations, if you created this, you can actually flick through the slides, you can share the slides with an external uh, person. We're looking at functionality for um, video and white background removal, uh, you know, so, um, yeah, so we, we really want this to be the last uh, template that you ever need, basically, is, is you have creatives and there's a template in there for you. This is really awesome. Well, I appreciate the demo. I really, I really understand even more now about what this really can do and, and it does for everyone. And it's my understanding that you have a founder's price at the moment um, where because you guys are, are getting this off the ground as a new, uh, you know, kind of do it yourself service that you're having a founder's price. And I know I want to tell you a brief story about a founder price because it's something that till this day, I'm still excited about um, my platform that I sell uh, that I do my courses on Kajabi um, when they first started had this founder's price that I started at and as long as you remained a customer you got all of the services they ever going to provide from now on for this price and now like I'll just put it in perspective I paid a thousand dollars a year for that back in 2015 and I'm still a customer today now their services with all the bells and whistles that I get is five grand her, at least it's like that's the whole that's the difference between staying with someone watching them be a founder and continuing on with their services so i'm just telling listeners that for a reason because when someone says they got a founder price that you can lock in for life um i will always i'm like i'm the first one to be like where's that sign up sheet because things only get better over time you hope right and so with you guys we know uh, that things are only just going to get better and more improved as if it can be better than this um but that's the idea there is that this founder's price is that the audience, the, the customers get kind of a say so and what comes about and what I, we, we'd like this service. We'd like this service. So um, I know you guys at Graphic Rhythm are so awesome with that. And so tell us a little bit more about, um, you know, the future of this as well. Yeah. So our, our, our goal for this is to fill it with literally thousands of templates. And um, what we want to ultimately be able to do is release a very high quality design set every month. Think of it like a seasonal release, you know, almost like a fashion catalog, you know, and each of those releases will have all of the coordinated templates that we talked about here. So that's like our big goal right now. What we're doing is we're trying to get templates in there as quickly as possible. And when we initially started with this founder's price, we had uh, 10, 10 templates in here. Now we're up to uh, over 30, I think. And so we're adding it to it pretty frequently. Um, and so basically, uh, you know, rather than doing all the work of putting thousands of templates in here and then hoping somebody <laughs> agrees that this is a great idea, what we did was we, we started out with 10 and, and we're going out, we're seeing if uh, people agree that this is a great idea. And the response has been fantastic. We've had bunches of people signing up and it's been great. So this founder's offer is, you know, you get in at a low price. You lock in that price, uh, so it, it renews every 18 months. So it's 18 months for uh, 297, 297 bucks. Um, and you know, you're, what you're accepting is that this is not a fully baked service right now, and we're we're still adding templates. And you have the ability to basically direct the way it goes. You know, you can contribute feedback. We've already had founders tell us, "Oh man." you know, we have this one product and, you know, it's like this wine kind of thing. Actually, we just released a template that she inspired uh, this week. Uh, you know, so you can contribute ideas to this and, and we'll build out templates that, uh, you know, match what our, what our founders are looking for. Um, and then you get to keep that price, you know, the same way you got to keep your, what is that, a 80% discount on Kajabi, you get to keep your 80% discount, you'll be able to keep your 60% discount for, creatives, uh, you know, as long as you stay a customer. So, um, you know, that's the big idea here. So. Yeah. And I love the fact that it's just like, it's just, it makes it so I like anything that improves efficiency and, and helps people that's not with their wheelhouse because in business, we can't be good at everything. We have to really stay in our zone of genius and do the best at what we're best at, but other stuff needs still needs to happen and be done. So instead of wasting my energy, trying to learn how to design uh, or pay thousands of dollars to appropriate and very well-qualified people, this is the in-between to where it's like, I don't have to learn a ton 
ton, but I also get the quality I want. And there's, there's, there's some give and take there. So I absolutely love that. You guys, mommyincome.com forward slash create create. That is your keyword. That is how you get in touch with um, this amazing offer because you know you want to try uh, creatives. And you know, there's no really obligation. If you go in and you decide it's not for you and, and it's not helping your, your listings, which prove me wrong, that's what I'm going to say, um, because it will help your listings. And also social media posts. I mean, a lot of people are creating brands from the ground up and people need to hear about them. And how is your visual representation um, is going to show your professionalism. And yes, you can do things yourself like Ian and I both did when we started our websites and people told us nicely that they were <laughs> not so design friendly. <laughs> um, you can absolutely do it too, but in a way professional, more a better way. Awesome. Well, I just want to say thank you for coming again and showing us this. And you guys, the podcast listeners, you can go watch the demo on YouTube to make sure that you see the demo because it's going to blow your mind. Um, and again, yes, we can do some things in Canva. I, I use both. Why? Because Canva, again, I have to start from the ground up and it's a pain. And this is just, I mean, even the sizes of the pictures are already there for you. No resizing, no messing up on that kind of stuff. That's why it's very... Uh, if you know how to do Amazon images, this is a very drop and drag, click friendly kind of thing. So mommyincome.com forward slash create Ian. Thank you so much again for your time. I know you guys could be anywhere else doing any other thing. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast and we'll see you same time, same place next week. Have a good one.